Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Anna Terea, and our Erica Bertine is here. Erica, beautiful day today when I walked out my door. Such a nice moment to see the sun shining out. Can we expect these awesome conditions to stick throughout the rest of this weekend? You know, the, today was going to be the nicest day of the weekend, or nicer day of the weekend, I should say. We'll start off the day tomorrow fairly pleasant, but then we do have some changes on the way. Now, we are going to see those clouds increase yet again tonight. Those low clouds will push into the Bay Area, up around the Hollister, and they will probably trickle into Salinas yet again. Now we will see a mix of low and high clouds out there, but that's not the real talker. Tomorrow we'll start the day off fairly pleasant. We'll continue to see those low clouds in our area, a few high passing clouds, but those clouds will increase, and this is just ahead of a cold front. This is the first frontal boundary that will be moving through our area on Sunday. So tomorrow evening is where we'll start to see some action, and this storm moving through our area is probably going to be the wettest one that we have seen so far in 2022. It has been a very dry winter. One thing I want to point out here is this band. Uh, the reason I'm pointing that out is because that can have heavier to moderate to heavier showers and it will be moving through the Santa Lucia range. It will be kind of fast at moving through, but because of the heavier showers that are in that line of storms, uh, it is possible to see some minimal debris flow around the Colorado fire. That area hasn't seen any rain, so it is very possible we could see some minimal debris flow around the Big Sur Coast area and around the Santa Lucia range. So just be aware of that. And then we will have some clearing, some lingering showers as we head into Monday morning. And then we have the actual low. You can see that low spinning off. It will start to move in our direction. Through most of the day Monday, we'll start to see scattered showers throughout the day. And this actually has the potential for some thunder thunderstorms that I'm going to say mostly in the south. So southern Monterey County, portions of San Benito County does have the potential for some thunderstorms Friday afternoon or excuse me, Monday afternoon into Monday evening. Then that low will move out of our area. But we are going to have some gusty conditions as these systems push through our area. We're talking anywhere between 20 to 30 miles per hour at time. We will continue to see those gusty conditions through the night and then they will start to calm down. But Monday we will continue to see some breezy conditions as well, just not as strong as tomorrow. So again, tomorrow afternoon is when we'll start to see those gusty conditions in place. We do have a gale warning as well. This takes place Sunday, 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Southern, I should say southerly winds, excuse me. So it's a little different. We have this push of winds coming up. So that means our Santa Cruz areas will actually cool down a little bit tomorrow. Our uh, Monterey Bay area will actually warm up a little because of these southerly winds. Now, again, this uh, rain is really going to stay focused around the Santa Lucia range. I do think a couple inches is possible around the Santa Lucia range. Other Colsa Mountains, like the Santa Cruz Mountains, do have a chance of seeing about an inch or two as well. Other areas, we're going to be well over a tenth of an inch for many locations. So, that, again, this is a good rainmaker for us. Temperatures, not too much to talk about tomorrow. Again, our Santa Cruz area will actually cool down because of those southerly winds 62 for Santa Cruz Santa Cruz Mountains cooling from those 70s into those mid to upper 60s tomorrow up and down the coast well we're gonna see temperatures in those low to mid 60s 67 for Marina 70 for Salinas 70 for Hollister Monterey Peninsula again we're gonna warm up a little because the wind is changing directions 66 for Monterey 61 for Pebble Beach and 65 for Carmel up and down the Salinas Valley we're still gonna see some mild temperatures we're going to be in those upper 60s to low 70s so the day will start pleasant tomorrow but then the clouds will start to increase and we will start to see some rain move into our area Sunday evening it'll last Sunday night and scattered showers throughout Monday we will start to dry out Tuesday and we'll start to see more sunshine temperatures will be in those upper 50s to low 60s inland again we do have the chance of some uh, thunderstorms Monday afternoon into Monday evening but then we start to dry out. Plenty of sunshine to look forward to, and temperatures will start to bump back up into the 70s by next weekend.